guys, so today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this cartoon doodle effect that you can do on your clothing or in whatever else. I know this is super popular on Instagram, especially with like very summer pictures with bathing suits and stuff, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So make sure you stick around to the end so you guys can figure out how to do it for yourselves. Also, a quick shout out to the actual person who came up with this and who does a lot of professional work. Her name is Donna Adi, and I'm going to leave her Instagram linked in the description for you guys to check out since she's the creator. So the app that we're going to be doing this tutorial in is the app Pixar and on the bottom here you'll see where I'm scrolling there's a tool called the draw tool. You can click on that and that is how we're going to be making this cartoon doodle. In the bottom left corner you'll see this rainbow and you can click on the color dropper and drag it over to the part where you want the color to be of whatever piece of clothing that you're replicating. And then you can edit it a little bit by dragging these two circles around that are on the screen right here. And by doing that, you'll be able to select the exact color that you want for your shirt if you want to change it. So then you're going to want to go to brush, which is the paintbrush right next to it, and change the size. And make sure the opacity is, is at 100. And what you're going to do is make sure the color is all good. And then you're going to just go over her sweatshirt and just color the entire sweatshirt in this case a sweatshirt or whatever piece of clothing and as you guys can see I'm not paying much attention to the lines here I'm just coloring it completely and this is because later on we're gonna fix this but for now this is what it looks like so this bottom left corner here there are these three panels you're gonna want to click on that and click on what you'll see I'm gonna circle it right here click on that and add an empty layer and we're gonna be you are going to want to be on this empty layer. Click the eyeball on the layer you just colored on, and we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the blur. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. We're gonna change the brush color to black and change the size. I made it approximately four or six, something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing that right now by clicking on the paintbrush again. So it's at five, and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline her entire sweatshirt and all the different wrinkles and stuff in it so that I get the general shape of the shirt that she's wearing. So once you have this, we're going to go back to those three panels. We're going to click on the eyeball with the yellow again, and we're going to click on that so it's highlighted blue, as you guys can see. Now what we're going to do is in the bottom bar, you'll see an eraser, which is the rectangle that's half white and half blank. You're just going to make the brush a small size, and we're going to erase all the extra yellow that is on the outside here. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in and getting rid of the stuff or that went over so that it looks nice and pristine. on the individual layers depending on if I want to fix an outline or add more color and I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it so that the drawing looks more complete and has less little mistakes in it. Once you have the basic outline, what we're going to want to do is add another empty layer and this is because we're going to start adding highlights. So what I did is I just copied the color of the sweatshirt, went to the brush size, made it a little smaller, and then I went to color and I made it a little lighter by dragging the circle in the uh, square up towards the top to make it more white. And then I just drew over these black lines. We'll fix it later, but for now what you're going to want to do is just make sure you're getting against all these lines and kind of just highlighting the sweatshirt in random spots. Make sure this is on its own layer though, because if it's not, then you're going to have to redo this entire stuff. Okay, so 
Once you have all that, you're going to click on the three panels again, and you're just going to click on the layer with the black and drag it so that the black outline is over the highlights. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add another empty layer and do the same thing but with white and in a few less spots. And this is going to add more highlights to the sweatshirt and make it look a little bit better. So the last step for her sweatshirt is I'm just going on one of the layers and what I'm doing is I am taking the color and making it a little bit darker and I'm going to add the accent that says honey by just drawing it on her sweatshirt. And you'll see I'm doing this a couple times but it's just so that I can get the perfect text on the sweatshirt that matches her sweatshirt in real life. Next what I'm doing is I'm going back to that yellow layer and I'm going to color over the flower in this pink color by just again selecting the same color and then just coloring over it with a large brush and this is just to add an accent so a lot of the time in like Donna's photos for example she puts like accents with flowers and stuff around it just to make the image a lot more interesting. Finally, I'm going back to that black outline layer and I'm just going to repeat the same process but I'm just going to draw an outline around the flower so that I get the accent. You guys can also go in and add the white highlights and stuff depending on what you want it to look like and just going on each different layer in order to make sure that it's all layered correctly. Darling. So when you're done, your image is going to look something like this. Now I know it's not obviously going to be perfect, but I think it does do a good job of replicating the cartoon effect that you guys see all over Pinterest and all over Instagram and such. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh,